back. We're uh, working on the solar panels today, so there's a solar panel in the box. And we're gonna go ahead and open it up right here. It's made by Overland Solar. Uh, all made in the United States. Really cool company. I talked to the owner. If you guys are looking for solar panels, it's like a semi-flexible 160 watts. So kind of right in between a lot. I was thinking between 200 and 100. Uh, we're either gonna put it on top of the rooftop tent or on top of the hood. Let's go check it out. So I kind of played putting on the hood uh, just because the rooftop tent, when it's open, it gets a weird angle. So it's easy to close the rooftop tent and like leave everything in there. But just for ease, unfortunately, I had ordered it with the assumption to put it on the rooftop tent, so I didn't really spec it to put on the hood. So it doesn't really fit this way. And it definitely doesn't fit lengthwise. I thought that'd be cool to like wrap it all the way around. So because of that, it's going on the rooftop tent where we're supposed to go. He said just use some 3M VHS tape. So I, I just bought some like really big two inch thick um, two-sided 3M VHS tape. And we're gonna throw it up there using that. We're gonna clean the bottom side of this. We're gonna clean the top side of the tent. Get a nice clean surface on both and uh, get it up there. And then I also have the controller, which we'll go through all that shortly here. Song, just make sure all the dirt's off. Clean, clean the back side of the solar panels. Clean, clean the back side of the panels. Careful not to bend it. It only bends at like a 15 degree angle, so always hold it from the edges. So before I tape the solar panel, I'm just gonna open the controller box, see what's in here. Kind of see the length of the wires that came with it, make sure it all fits and you have to run it the right way. And I thought he included wires. He didn't. You need to go to the store. Bummer. So here's the controller. Um, this whole piece is gonna go in the rear, kind of in the whole battery box section. We're gonna have to take out the whole, in order to get in there, it's just so much easier if I can like open everything up, take the diesel heater out and take everything off, so. I need to clean the back of the truck. <laughs> this is all, I took this apart, I need to take this completely out. Uh, but this is where all the controllers are. You can see it's 12.7 volts. Weather's really nice though. Hopefully it stays nice because it sucks working in the cold. Okay guys, well, we made it on. So, we got the whole box out of the truck, which is great. This opens up this panel, so I'm gonna pull this off now, and that opens up the whole electrical side of the things. Hello. Hello. 3M tape, see I got the two inch thick. Put it on. I forgot to show you this, before I put it up there, I did use the 3M VB, VBH, I don't know if I said it right the first time. Um, got it all around the edges, so just gonna be easier to maneuver once it's up there. And I'm gonna go up there, peel off the other side, stick it down and see how it looks. Yeah, I'm just slowly peeling this back as we go down, press down as we work our way back. I gotta peel off the back piece before I make it too far back, otherwise I won't be able to pick it up to undo it. So that's how we're getting it on. The solar panel's up. Now we gotta mount the wires and run the wires to the battery and to the controller. Um, I had to pull apart the entire battery box so I can get the controller mounted into a good location um, on that panel. And we're just gonna go ahead and start wiring everything up. So the battery and then the photovoltaic cell is, um, or the solar panel. And then there's another thing called load, which I don't think I actually need to do. So I'm trying to see, I'm reading through the instruction manual. I'm pretty sure the guy said I don't even need to touch those. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, you got some 14 gauge wire I went back and forth on what gauge to go with and then the type of wire so uh, I went with some outdoor really flexible 14 gauge wire should do the trick it's not running that far hopefully it's not too much wire Car cleaning over here, truck work over there. Here's a quick little trick. So I might come back and do this tomorrow. And if I get this mounted and it's hard to see, and I'm like, oh man, did I put positive to black? Shoot, I forgot. I was gonna take a picture of my phone. I could always come back, reference it, especially if it's again hidden in some spot in the truck that's really hard to get to. Every box, 
completely torn apart here. You can kind of see it's not the cleanest, but hey, it works just fine. Um, yeah, so this is where all the switches and stuff ended up, and I put these on uh, just so I could build some more. I just need more power to more things, especially when I had like the fridge and the uh, Wii Boost. This is the Wii Boost right here for solar, or not for solar, for uh, cell signal. So I'm gonna put the charger. I'm gonna stop bending these wires and break them. Um, this is gonna live right there. We gotta connect the controller to the battery terminals. So uh, we need to route the uh, wire now. We got it all mounted up over there. And my thought is, you know, I, I kind of use as many holes as I can already that are already in the truck. So we're gonna go ahead and use either this one up here or this one over here. Um, and I'm gonna drill into this right there. And that I believe should be able to pass the cable down through and then into this hole. Cool, so we got it uh, run. So controller, wire going all the way up into this hole right here, which will be covered by um, these plastic pieces. I'm trying to keep it clean. Pops out up here and this will route right up here is a nice little hole. Let me show you guys. So right there is where it'll come up. And then I just gotta get the uh, cables hooked up from the uh, solar panel and uh, check the voltometer and make sure it all works. Cool. I'll undo one of these and I got this. I'm gonna slip that on right there. Uh, and that will hold the whole wire. So this will come up and that, that should do the trick. I mean, pretty simple. And once we get it on, we'll, uh, we'll make sure it works. So I got all my electrical supplies here. We're gonna cut it, splice it together. That'd just be way cleaner. The whole goal is to make it look clean, so. All right, so I just talked to guys at the Overland Solar Company, super helpful, great customer service. They, uh, the green and the yellow is blinking, so I wasn't sure what that meant, but um, they both should be blinking. Basically, the battery is good and then it is blinking pretty fast, so it's doing a bulk charge to the battery right now. So, hey, we have solar power, guys. How freaking exciting is that? Can't wait to get out into, uh, I was gonna say the bushes if we live in Australia. Can't wait to get out camping and uh, see see uh, if it keeps everything kind of at full charge, if we could power all the, the drones, the GoPros, the fridge, the lights in the evening, um, the heater, just, yeah, super excited that we don't have to keep the truck on or turn the truck on. We can kind of stay put for five days without running the engine, wasting gasoline, so cool. Thanks for coming along. I'm gonna finish it up here. I got a few more things. I gotta obviously put everything back together. Um, and then I gotta go do some repairs. I gotta fix the water hose that busted out last summer. So yeah, that's the solar panel install. Pretty simple, pretty fast. Oh, what the, oh my gosh. They just scared the bejesus out of me. Hello. Bring on the sun. Say it really loud, like excited, like bring on the sun.